All right. So in this next segment, I'm gonna kind of continue on with this little uh, kind of narration thing I have going on. Get my brain wrapped around it. But we have our side panels for our 10 of hearts. And it looks like that red has set up a bit. There's a couple of light spots in there. I might touch this one up. I might not, it all depends. Yeah, I might, I might throw another layer over this. So I'm really not liking those bright spots. Might wanna thicken it up just a little bit. This one turned out pretty good though. Nice and smooth, and that might be why this one messed up, is the differences in sanding. No big deal though, because we're gonna prep these for hydro dip. Let's go ahead and set these aside though, because we need to get our film all set up. So we have our gloves, important. Goggles, important. Razor blade, important. Towel, important. And activator, important box of films. There we go. That's what we want right there. Gideon? Good boy. To the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. bucket is now filled up and you can see I have put quite a bit of water in here. I did that for a reason because of course I am going to be dipping a part into this. I want to make sure I have enough clearance for that part to get fully submerged. And of course I'm going to have to rotate that part around and bring it back up so I want to make sure we have enough volume there. Uh, so we're going to start out with some rubber gloves and we also need to make sure that this water is hot, not boiling. Now we're ready. Let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to start with our first piece of film. Okay. Not perfect, but I'm not trying to make it perfect. I just need enough surface for me to get to this part. And I think that's what we got. I got some water seeping in here. I did that. That was my bad. That's okay. That's okay. We're good. We're good. I'm not going to stress. I'm not going to stress too much. But we are going to get that activator ready because we got some nice tightness across the top and one spray slow. Oh, 
right there, right in the face. That was good. Oh. So now we're gonna come in at a 45 degree angle. We're just gonna try to get as much of that film as we can. We're dipping it in the water. That water is really, really hot, really hot. And now we're shaking it. We twist when we come up. And there we have it. A nice hydro dip across the top there. stencils that I'm doing on here. We got five hearts on this side, five hearts on that side because we're going to ten of hearts. Um, I'm going to take the razor blade. I'm probably going to chop up this card a little bit and throw that ten spot right in there. I haven't figured anything else out for the other one. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make it a, uh, a one-sided thing. I got some detail painting to do up in here. I gotta do another layer of the lead belcher, but that should be just about done here in a bit. These pieces are just about done. I just need to go over some of their detail paints again. But we should be good. Yeah. Yeah, things are shaping up quite nicely.
baby girl. Now. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Good girl. Meow. are just about ready. Let's go ahead and put them together. I am excited to see this because I have not seen these parts together yet. go on the interwebs and find some official upgrade springs right now. Let's be honest, I'm just too lazy to do that today. And this works just fine. Oh, that's nice and stiff too. Yeah, some K25 or K26. That should be fun. Got some paracord for a paracord wrap later. And hot glue. This guy up here needs some dead space filler. Got way too much dead space down there. So I'm going to do a nice little layer of hot glue to fill in some of the air gaps. And then I might go get one of my felt uh, furniture pads to put over the top. Get some nice cushion. This rubber right around the side has a nice cushion to that too. And then we'll take the Teflon tape and Get some Teflon tape under the O-rings and hopefully, uh, hopefully seal that uh, fungus you built nice and tight. Uh, I also have taken out the air restrictor right here. So that's all this one will be up there. Uh, and I might find a way to either get this apart or whatever I need to do. I'll throw some Teflon tape under there as well so that way it's but here has a nice tight seal. But still has to give to it. We still need to be able to move. That has a change. That is only a potential point of failure. Hey dude. Hey, that's that's my chair. Buddy. Yeah.
All right, I need you to move. Thank you. Ow! 